this is to review our four quadruple sound steps. And again, all these categories are based on how many sounds the step makes. This one, each of these steps makes four sounds. The first one is a flat bowl change. This one I actually didn't teach in class, but I should have because it showed up in one of the stations. So similar to in jazz, we had a step bowl change. If you practiced across the room, when we take that into tap, we turn it into a flat bowl change. So we start with a brush before the step, brush, step, ball, change, brush, step, ball, change. And your counting is the same as in jazz, except now we're adding that extra brush. So it goes and one, and two, and three, and four. The second four sound step that we're gonna review is a cramp roll, one of the first ones we learned in the warm up. A cramp roll consists of two steps and two heel tap. So step, step, heel, heel. That will be a cramp roll. You can do it on either foot, the right foot or the left foot. And we did practice both in our warm up. It can be done slow. So on the count, one, two, three, four. It can be done faster. One and two and it can be done all in one count. One and up. They're all acceptable counts and speeds for a cramp roll. The third step we're gonna do is called the side essence. Again, I didn't teach this one in class, but we did do it at the end of our routine to face forward. So a side essence begins with a leap onto one foot, a shuffle on the other foot, and then a ball change, which is totally five sounds. So that should have been in the quintuple steps. Oops, we're gonna keep it here. So on your right foot, leap. On your left foot, do a shuffle. And then a ball change. And it always changes sides every time. Leap, shuffle, ball change. Leap, shuffle, ball change. The last quadruple sound step is a paradiddle. We did this in class and we also saw this in the Gregory Hines video that's posted in the Google Classroom. You're gonna start with a heel tap with your right foot or your left, it can be either foot, and it goes forward a little bit. So there's your heel tap, it digs in. Then you're gonna do a pick up backwards. Then you're gonna step on it and do another heel tap that helps to finish the change of weight. You would then do the second one on your left foot. Heel pick up, step, heel, heel, pick up, step, heel, heel, pick up, step, heel, heel, pick up, step, heel. And this one I will do sideways because it does look different sideways. You can see the motion of that pick up. Heel, pick up, step, heel, heel, pick up, step, heel. And please remember speed, as we always say in class, is just a matter of practice. I'm not worried about speed. What I'm worried about is making sure that you get those sounds correctly. 